<laughs> yeah, on that note, you know, as a friend and a teammate, you're probably more so just happy for him that he doesn't have to sit out anymore. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and that, that's exactly what I mean by chomping at the bit. Like, you can see, like, him sitting out. Like, you can see just that fire inside him really growing um, day by day. And I know, like, them releasing him and allowing him to, to go out there with 11 11. I, I mean, you can just see it, like, just the excitement. It's like a kid in a candy shop. So, yeah. Did you change the atmosphere in the locker room and out on the practice field, knowing that he's going in there for those team drills? Well, kind not, of. not just that, but you know, like, like, he's getting close. You know, by the time they start letting him do some team, I mean, they have a, I would assume they have a pretty good trust in that knee, where it's, you know, somewhere to happen. You know, they let him, you know, go out there and run around and, you know, kind of no restrictions type of deal. So, uh, yeah. Is that pretty amazing? Because you look at the timetable of that injury, and it, it hasn't happened very much that, that especially a quarterback can, can come back this early into the rehab. Does that speak to him? It does. Uh, Lane always says it best. You know, the, the school of PHW, pure hard work. I mean, that's what it is. Um, you know, you just don't, uh, I guess, shift that timetable like that unless you're just grinding it out every day. So. Uh, it's been impressive to see, but at the same time, everything that's happened and him being ahead of schedule, I mean, he's earned it, he's worked it. I've, I've seen it every day I came in. What'd you get for your birthday? Uh, I get to put my hand in the dirt, do some kick slides, <laughs> some main blocks. You know, that's, that's about it. That's, it's been this way since I've been, you know, started playing. So uh, I don't want to be like, you know, Debbie Downer, but it's kind of just another day. Cause I come in, I got practice. You know, it's not like, you know, I get the day off for having a birthday. So, yeah. No yeah. cake? No, nah, no cake, no cake. All, all good. Draining. Yeah. Still draining, no cake. <laughs> nah, I'm just, nah, I'm just not, not a cake no guy. Sweet, no sweetest fish. No, 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 no. Like, like my teeth. I like my teeth. What are the next couple of weeks gonna be like for you? You know, you've established yourself as one of the best in the league with your Pro Bowl season. What, what do you have to do now to get yourself ready for that opener on September 6th? Uh, me, you know, the first thing I always say is, you know, even winning the Super Bowl, going to the Pro Bowl. You know, one thing I didn't get was All Pro, so that was my, like, that's my st gold standard, I guess, at this point. Um, that's that's what I'm shooting for, you know, individually, but. You know, as a teammate, just each year, just trying to be a better teammate, trying to be a better student of the game, you know, at this point. Um, and then, you know, the next, I guess, two weeks before the opener, um, you know, this is like a regular game week, so we game plan and, you know, things like that. So I guess just getting my mind ready for what it's like to be, you know, a game week, you know, once again. And next week, uh, you know, we don't play, but, you know, still being involved in the game plan, even though the younger guys are going, so. What do you want to get out of this week? Like you said, this is going to be the dress rehearsal, last chance for you guys before that opener. What do you want to get out of it personally? Uh, personally, you know, just go out there, work on my technique, man, and, uh, you know, listen to Kelsey making the points. And, you know, just being on the same page and really coming out, you know, playing a clean game, um, you know, personally. So. What do you like from what you guys have done so far in the preseason? I know there's been some penalties and some things of that nature, but individually, what do you like from what you've done so far? Because you've had – two pretty dominant performances thus far. Hey, man, like, you know, there's a little, so for example, man, this is why I love Stout, man. Stout's been on my ass the past few days about, you know, like the little things, man, like, you know, having my hand out here, like he chews my ass about getting my hand in here. And as an older guy, like an established guy, you know, some guys might be like, man, like, you know, what, I realize we're on camera, like, you know, what's, what, you know, what, like, you know, what the heck's going on? Like, what? But it's, see, it's not about that. You know, it's, it's about no matter where you are in your career, always constantly trying to elevate it, man. So, like, little things like that are really what I'm, like, trying to focus on to get better, man. So. But I think it takes an open-minded person to accept that because there are some people who can reach that level and think that they know everything, that they've arrived. So I mean, not in this game, man. To be honest, like, you got to keep an open mind. You got to be able to, you know, change your game. You got to be able to adapt, you know, things that stay the same as things evolve usually don't, you know, keep up or stay long, man. So, yeah, man, I mean, that's why, you know, I love South to death. <laughs>